The portrait that we have is of a man who is a very devout Jew, one who practices his Judaism as an integral part of his life. He goes on pilgrimage, he circumcises his child on the eighth day, he pays the redemption price of the firstborn. These are pious, observant Jews. And he is also a skilled artisan. He is a person who has a trade as a builder. The word in Greek is tekton, it means that he's a builder. The other thing we know about Joseph is that he disappears off the scene quite early in the narrative. The last time we hear about him is when Jesus is 12 and the family goes up to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Many have suggested that Joseph was quite older than Mary, perhaps a widower, with children from a first marriage who became Jesus' stepbrothers. This would account for, of course, the presence of the brothers and sisters in Scripture, and also for the fact that life wasn't always easy. There was tension in this family. I think the unsung hero of the Nativity account would have to be Joseph. Because look at his situation. He finds out that his betrothed wife-to-be is pregnant and not by himself. How would any male feel about that today? Uh, and so the searing decision he had to make, was his wife unfaithful to him? If so, how would this impact the future? Should he divorce her? In fact, that was the normal thing to do, only he would do it privately so that Mary wouldn't have to pay the penalty of an adulteress and be stoned to death. And so I think ethically Joseph made the right decision. He wanted to privately uh, abandon the plans for marriage rather than making a public spectacle of his wife and perhaps have her stoned for adultery. But then of course came the supernatural intervention in a dream, which is of course one of the ways by which God communicated in the uh, Old and New Testament. And he was told indeed the blessed circumstances of this particular conception. And then faithfully, he, just like Mary, was obedient to the divine will, protected the Holy Family after the birth of Jesus and the flight to Egypt. He had a lot of responsibilities, Joseph did, and brought them back safely, first to Bethlehem and then north to Nazareth.